My no start issue never went away. Um, when I first bought the car though, it didn't used to have this problem unless it sat for two weeks. So I've been thinking, what has changed? What did I do to this car? What has deteriorated to cause the issue to get worse? Since I bought the car, I changed the battery, I've changed the fuel pump, changed the fuel filter, I've checked the spark plugs. A lot of people just learn to live with it and they say add an electric fuel pump uh, near the gas tank in the back and you just flip it on for a second, put some pressure in the line or some fuel in the line and then flip it off. So I'm thinking that I don't accept that the car should have a hard time starting, even with new ethanol gas. And here's my thought, is that the carb is sealed for the most part, except for a 1.5 millimeter opening in the jet inside the manifold. And then there's a whole series of tubes and pressure regulators and valves and stuff inside. And then you have your bowls of fuel, gas, it should be fairly isolated. So even ethanol fuels not going to evaporate quickly. A lot of people experience the same thing I do is that it's three, four days, if not the next day on a hot day where the, it's all the gas is evaporating. That doesn't seem right. So that means just by kind of the physics of it is that there's an air leak somewhere in the fuel lines. And if you look at it, my fuel filter right now, it's empty. The whole line is probably empty all the way back. So one of the things that has been staring me in the face all along, I never thought to even check the spec, is that this is a 7.93 millimeter, 5 16th fuel line going from the fuel, mechanical fuel pump to the carburetor.